Tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. Hey all, welcome to John's Bottle Making. Today I've got Batmobile Tumbler, the next three issues, 56 to 58. Excellent stuff. This is what we're left with. There we go. We've got that front section on, which is brilliant. 56, we have some detail to put on this front section here. And mine isn't loose at all. That's brilliant. And this is what we completed as well. The last few issues. Excellent. I don't think we're going to need that at all today, but we will need that front section. Anyway, let's have a look at issue 56, see what that fully entails. Okay, no, let's have a look through my favourite magazines at the moment. On Fire, a CG creation of the weapon system and the engine of the 1978 Batmobile. There we go. It's great if you can collect all these uh, cars. That's if you can find them, of course. Excellent. Batman, year three, part one of four. There we go. There it is again. The Cape Crusaders action vehicle. Better they're worth something them now. There we go. We're going through the magazine. There it is Batman with Nightwing. And here we have step-by-step -step instructions. Mountings, pistons and shock absorbers. Should be pretty straightforward this I think. And there we go. We do put them onto this front section. There we go. They'll push fit and then we screw these shock absorbers into place. Excellent. And that's what it looks like. And coming in the next issue, the engine panel. Brilliant. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the build. Here we are, issue 56. We we'll get the parts out. We have the UP and KP screws. And there we go. We have the mountings and the shock absorbers. There we go. Those are the shock absorbers. We've got two short ones and two long ones as well. Don't need them just yet, but we do need the up screws these brackets that one has r on it and that one has l on it and i don't think there's anything on these pistons from what i can see okay no. so basically we pop that in there like so and that end is more open than that side so we screw through this side with a up screw there we go Excellent. We'll do the same with this one. Oh, that one has a bigger peg than that one as well. In there. And pop a screw in. There we go. Excellent. So that is the right side. That is the left side. So now we need the front of the vehicle. That is the left side. This is the right side. So let's see if we can get this. No, that should, yeah, that's the bigger peg, that's the smaller peg, and it goes in there, yep, but first of all we have to pop it over that piston, just there, and then we can hopefully angle this, get it straight like that, pop that into place there, like so, see this being really awkward and keep that turn that around they don't make this easy do they and something's just falling off yep <laughs> one of the previous details okay let's get this lined up they certainly don't make this easy there we go I should have got it more or less I don't know if that screw's in the right place or not. No, it should be the other way, that. Hold on. Okay, now looking at these two, that, as you can see, is sloped. And it goes with, the, well, not the curve, but the side of this front section. So it has to go on like that, and with the screw head at the top. And that one is exactly the same as well as. So... Yeah, the only way, if I do it that way, it do, it won't fit. So that one has to go on that side with the screw head facing up. And so is that one. So unless um, they've done something wrong, um, 
I can only get them on that way. Can't get them on any other way. So that goes in there. Very difficult to say the least. Through that piston. And then get that. Oops, it is. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. <laughs> How weird. How really, really weird. So that has to go there. Like that. No, well, the instructions don't work out for me. Anyway, I'm going to take this wheel off, I think. Right, I'm going to try this a different way. I'm going to pop that on there. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to pop this into place, this bracket. Um, it has to go on a certain way because of the panel. Let's do it on an angle. Right. And that's shoved into place. There we go. That's that into place. And now, see if we can pop the cylinder over the top. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. There's no way I can get that on so easy. Uh, let's slacken this off at the back. There we go. Slacking that piston off. And now put the cylinder over the top. And now we can position that in there, like so. You see that all right? Now we've got that positioned. We can get a screw in there. And then tighten it up at the back. There we go. That's that one on. That is not easy. It doesn't go on as easy as they make out anyway. Right. I'll take this apart and do the same. Okay, look. I've loosened this piece here at the back. Um, I have tried it again off camera. And it is very, very difficult. You see, there's one peg there longer than the other, but one is thicker than the other as well. And then you've got the natural slope on this bracket, which contours with the side of this panel. And you've got to get that in place. There we go. Finally got it on. Just needs a little bit of persuasion just there. All right, now we can get this into place. See, I'm slacking everything else off. There we go. Now get that into there. And now we can screw it into place. You see, your screw has to go through the larger hole because it screws into the smaller hole. And now tighten this up at the back. And finally, there we go. <laughs> Bye, that was difficult, that. I don't know how everybody else is getting on with it, but uh, yeah, that was not easy. But you can see the screw heads here, and according to the instructions, the screw head should be on the bottom. Um, but you can't reverse these brackets because one is left, one is right. So anyway, let's move on. Okay, now we've got 56D, which is the shorter um shock absorber that goes from here to here so it will go under there and there and we use kp screws for this get that one lined up just there i think that is that yeah that's that one there and we just need to lift that up and position it like so i think that's got it yeah, the screw will draw it up. There we go. And now we can finish off screwing this down. There we go. 
And now we've got 56E, that goes into the third hole. So that will go there and there, like so. We'll get another KP screw in here. Attach there. That should enable us to get another screw on that side. Into here. Support that with my thumb. Be careful with these because I can feel them. They could easily snap. There we go. That's looking lovely. Still miffed with this. <laughs> so difficult. Uh, they make it look so easy in the instructions, but it certainly isn't. Now we need to do the shock absorbers on this side. So that again will go there. And that will go under there. I think that's caught that one. Seems to have. Okay, now we've got this short one into place. KP screw there, KP screw there. Just need the long one and two more KP screws. Right. Obviously it goes in that way, as you can see. It angled at the top there like so. These wheels just get in the way, don't they? <laughs> um, let's see if we can find the hole. I think that is the hole there. Pushed it down with the screw, but I think it's grabbed it. Yep, it has. And now we can pop that into place. All of that. Put it into the third hole. And this will now get this last shock absorber into place, thankfully. There we go. Now I have followed the instructions for these. Yeah, you've seen that. For these two, I haven't. I've basically loosened the stem here, 5E, there. That's 5E, that piece there, with the screw at the back here and over here as well. Loosen that off, put the bracket on, as you saw, and then put the piston in place with the stem. If you don't loosen the stem, you can't get the piston in place. They just get, it just gets in the way because it's, it's rigid. It, it has to be loose for, for the piston to get into place and then you can get in on the bracket and screw it down. Um, I find it very very difficult the other way and obviously the screw heads are at the top they're not underneath. I don't know what the instructions are saying uh, or showing because they, they just contradict themselves anyway the instructions but that works fine for me. Um, a lot lot easier than the instructions. The instructions are basically rubbish. Um, if you have a look at them it shows you a picture of one, one picture where the it shows you the bracket where to place it but it doesn't mention how to get these into place because it's just too difficult this moves around too much you know and the holes and the panel are um, very very tight fit so that's the quickest way i can find doing it excellent let's move on to issue 57. okay no. issue 57 we go through the magazine room for two so we've got the comics and then we have the Dark Knight, excellent. George Perez, um, oh we have two pairs, excellent read. And here we have components of issue 57, engine panel and exhaust pipe. These are just push fit. And that is all we're left with. And coming in next issue, the roof. Excellent, now let's get on with the build. Okay, no, issue 57, there we go. These are just push fit connections. You can't really go wrong. There's one, <laughs> two lugs on it. Uh, one is bigger than the other, so it can only go on one way. And just pop that into place there, and pop that one into place there. And that is it for issue 57. There we go. I suppose you could put some glue on it. Let's move on to the last issue. Okay, on issue 58. Batmobile by its cover. There we go cracking artwork baptism of fire non-brig oil oh nope non-brave ogle that's 
better, John. There we go on the comics again. Step by step instructions the roof of your tumbler and its first support. So, one piece of detail, one BP screw, and we don't just get the orientation right. Can't go wrong. And then additional roof supports coming in the next issue. Excellent. Let's get on with the build. And here we have issue 58. There we go. Nice big piece. It's been splashed with something. Well, that looks perfectly alright. So, what have we got in here? This should be. Yep, it's support that basically goes in there, like so, I believe. Yeah, we'll screw that down with a BP screw. Okay, don't. Let's pop that in to there. There, you're supposed to do that like that, I suppose. I do make things a little bit awkward with this build. Said in the right direction yep excellent there we go so that is you can see some little spillage let's see if that comes off yeah i'll have to wipe that off but there we go so there we go that is issue 58 there is issue 57 and here we have obviously issue 56 Look at those shock absorbers and pistons and rods yeah and the screws on the upper and not the lower <laughs> excellent so there we go i mean it looks fine you know i've just been concerned about them screw heads being shown but you can see other screws so i don't see what it matters really um, but the brackets were left and right and you couldn't really reverse them um like well, anyway <laughs> you know because they are slopes as well as they're not um um, a complete arch you know that each end is slightly longer well one slightly longer than the other slightly short um, so I don't know what's going on there with the instructions because it just baffled me and then getting them into place flipping it I mean they, they, they are a tight fit but loosen the rods put the brackets on and then put the piston into place yeah, and screw it in that worked for me um, I just couldn't get my fingers in there I just couldn't get my hands in but very very frustrating that was <laughs> but you know these panels look fantastic that looks great yeah they like to exhaust so even though the blanks off but yeah that's the engine panel and there we have the roof and i've still got to get them speckles off whatever they are but uh yeah excellent yeah i'll have to keep that like that make sure that little support there doesn't get broken as well as that looks a bit skew with to be honest to me but well, anyway <laughs> it's what it is you know so long as it works it doesn't really matter does it you know um but uh, so long as you're happy with it anyway but anyway there we go that is the last three issues for this month it'd be another six weeks before we get the next six i know there's never a great lot to do but yeah i did find 56 quite frustrating but anyway if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and let me know you get on with them brackets you know because I'm wrecking my brain here and I don't see how I could have done anything wrong. Um, I really don't. It's just, yeah, because you got a thick peg and you got a thin peg um, and the holes, uh, one's big, one's small. You know, so um, they both go in the right direction. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> it's done with. Brilliant. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Stay safe. Bye for now.